Today we're talking about knee osteoarthritis and massage and what the actual clinical evidence says. If you don't know me, I'm Dan and I do research on the research. As mentioned, today we're talking about knee osteoarthritis and what the actual clinical research says about massage and whether it actually helps you. As always, we've got to look at a few things. Uh, we've got to look at how we located the study, whereabouts it was uh, done, uh, where's the study from, what type of research is it, the research question they ask, how they define massage, massage techniques they use, the result, does massage work, and how can you use this in, a, in your clinic. Of course, this is for practitioners, but also the general public. So if you're someone who does have knee osteoarthritis, can massage help? Is it just exercise that helps or can massage help? Let's get straight into it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do and click on the bell notification and you'll get all the, uh, the videos coming up in the next couple of months. Let's go back to our study. All right. The actual study question is the efficacy and safety of massage for osteoarthritis of the knee a randomized clinical trial. Clinical trials are the number one thing in research. Actually, double-blinded randomized clinical trials are the number one research uh, method that we want, but this will be close enough. There's about 16 different researchers in this article, and it is uh, researched in the USA, and I think it's a geriatric internal medicine journal but I'll put the links below. Let's skip straight to the introduction and see what we have here. Um, I'll just put my highlighter on a nice green color. And so if you don't know what osteoarthritis is, it's a degenerative disease affecting approximately 30 million Americans. Uh, so that's about, what is it, 300? So probably about 10% of the population. So in Australia that'd be uh, you're looking at 3 million Australians, probably. Leading cause of disability worldwide, osteoarthritis poses significant economic strain. Patients often face either surgical interventions or the burden of de de debilitating joint pain, weakness, and loss of function in, uh, if symptoms cannot be effectively managed. Massage therapy is one of the most popular Complementary medicine interventions in 2012, 15.4 million Americans reported using massage for osteoarthritis. Despite its worldwide use, only a small body of research exists exploring uh, the use of massage to improve osteoarthritis symptoms. Uh, they go on to talk about a bit about more of the randomized control, randomized clinical trial. And this is the methods that they involved. So eligible participants were individuals with radiographically established knee osteoarthritis, so it has to be on an x-ray, who met the American College of Rheumatology criteria, were at least 35 years old, that's pretty young to have osteoarthritis, and had a baseline score of 40 out of 90 out of 100 for knee pain on the visual analog scale, which means you just rate your pain from 0 to 10. Uh, subjects using non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs or other analgesics were included if their doses remained stable for three months prior to the intervention. Uh, people with serious medical conditions, dual knee replacement, recent use of corticosteroids, um, and a few other things were not included. Uh, randomization. So, subjects. So, they had um, 222 subjects randomized into three study arms, which were light touch, usual care, um, or it was light touch, usual care, and the other one was Swedish massage. Somewhere that talks about Swedish massage. Anyway, the study was multi-site randomized clinical trial means done in different um, areas with different clinicians. So you know exactly then that massage is not going to be the same. 
even they they, they try to uh, keep a protocol the same to assess the initial long-term effects of eight-week course study of weekly six-minute massages and the utility of bi-weekly maintenance dosing so swish there we go swish massage will compare to weekly 60-minute light touch treatments and usual care uh, then they did uh, a little bit of studies of 16 to 24 weeks so we'll go down uh, participants randomized to massage receive 60 minutes of whole body massage which follows the standardized protocol of our pre previous studies and I'll just go back to those previous studies this is one they did in 2012 and they tried to make a protocol for massage so this basically um, explains the massage techniques they use for uh, knee osteoarthritis in this study. So they had two, they had a 30 minute protocol and a 60 minute protocol. 30 minute protocol was basically whole body Swedish massage. If you don't know what Swedish massage is, it's just general massage strokes all over the body. So they had specified allocated times to different parts of the body. So for the 30 minutes, they had 12 to 15 minutes on the lower limbs, upper limbs, upper body, sorry, eight to 12 minutes and then whatever you want for two to five minutes after that. Uh, on the lower limbs for the 60 minute, they had um, 20 to 27 minutes on the lower limbs, upper body 15 to 24 minutes, and three to 3.5 to 20 minutes of discretionary, so any other things you want to do. So that's not really a protocol, is it, when you, you think of the difference between three minutes to 20 minutes and working on a different part of the body, so different therapists doing that all around the country so that was their massage protocol um, so how they um, established um, baselines they did a questionnaire uh, which was a womac they got a womac global score so the womac global score is an outcome measure um, developed by the Western Ontario something 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 anyway it's a it's a standard measure questionnaire for people with osteoarthritis of the knee or hip includes um, scores for stiffness pain and functional ability uh, so they got uh, all the results here's a nice little uh, flow chart so three different groups, uh, one, two, three. So we had Swedish massage for an hour for eight weeks, one hour per week for eight weeks. Um, and then they either went into maintenance. So they went to maintenance for one hour Swedish massage every two weeks uh, for 52 weeks. Would have been good to be in that group. Or they just had the Swedish massage once a week for eight weeks and then went into usual care, which was nothing at all. They did light, either that or light touch. Uh, one hour per week for eight weeks. Uh, light touch was basically no manual therapy. It was just sort of hands-on talking. And then they did maintenance of what light light touch for every two weeks for 52 weeks. And that would have been a nightmare. Or they just went into usual care. Or the group started into usual care. And then 26 weeks in, they did the Swedish massage then. And then went into usual care or one hour of Swedish massage. So the results, um, when they first started, started baseline, so the WOMAC is the Western Ontario and McMaster University's um, score. So the Swedish massage, 74 people started that score out of 100, I'd say out of 100, I think so. We got 48, uh, light touch for 50, and usual care 53, so pretty similar. And then let's have a look at these results. Draw conclusions here. Discussion, yep. Our data indicate that eight weeks of massage provided a statistically and significantly significant improvement of osteoarthritis symptoms. These results support findings from our earlier pilot study that demonstrated make sure I highlight this. Demonstrated safety, feasibility, and potential efficacy of eight weeks of massage in reducing 
pain, stiffness, time 50 meter walk, and improving physical function compared to a weightless control in adults with knee osteoarthritis. Although mean WOMAC for massage maintenance improved and massage followed by usual care got worse, the difference was not significant at 52 weeks. Thus, while weekly massage provided more immediate clinical significant improvements in osteoarthritis symptoms at eight weeks, massage and light touch with or without bilegally massage show similar improvements in WOMAC scores at the end of the study. This study was designed with light touch functioning as an active control for massage, providing relaxation, human touch and interaction with a caring person, but no tissue manipulation. Our research suggests that light touch may have significant therapeutic effects for individuals with painful knee osteo osteoarthritis. However, reasons for this improvement are not well understood. So sensory information, touch, talking can actually improve your knee osteoarthritis, not just massage alone. While the underlying mechanisms of massage mediated improvements in osteoarthritis are not well defined, preliminary studies suggest that massage may improve systematic immune and inflammatory profiles in health, healthy individuals. Future studies, including comparison of mechanical, biomechanical, and immunological effects of massage versus light touch in people with osteoarthritis, might help eludicate mechanisms and optimize interventions. Let's look straight into the conclusions. This study demonstrated that a manualized protocol for a 60 minute whole body Swedish massage, so it's not really uh, focused on the knees in particular, it's just whole body, once weekly for eight weeks, so massage for 60 minutes for eight weeks, is safe and efficacious at reducing pain and increasing function in adults with knee osteoarthritis compared to an active control and usual care. Positive effects of eight weeks of massage were quite durable without additional treatment. So if you just had the massage for eight weeks, your knee will feel better. Long-term bi-weekly massage maintained gains from the initial eight weekly treatments and had higher average global WOMAC scores at all time points than without maintenance. However, due to significant improvements in all groups from baseline, massage maintenance was comparable to massage without maintenance and light touch, with or without maintenance at 52 weeks. So all groups actually improved over the 52 week time, but in the first eight weeks, massage uh, once a week was much better. Therefore, weekly massage can be used to facilitate more immediate improvements in symptoms of osteoarthritis, but maintenance bi-weekly massage did not provide significant additional benefits compared to no further therapy or light touch. So if you're having massage after the initial eight weeks, it's no real different having it once every fortnight for, again, 52 weeks compared to usual care or light touch. But in saying that, all those groups did improve their scores over that 52 week period. This trial did not include a true usual care group beyond 24 weeks, so eight weeks of weekly massage followed by bi-weekly maintenance compared to usual care alone, 52 weeks cannot be made. The safety and efficiency of symptoms relief from eight weeks of massage may allow individuals a more timely return to activities that enhance their quality of life and thus be attractive treatment option for many suffering from osteoarthritis of the knee. So this study does suggest that if you, especially initially for eight weeks, had a massage once a week for eight weeks, it does improve your stiffness in your knee, the pain in your knee, and your functional ability. So maybe combine that with some exercise and you may find that the next year after that, you have better outcomes in terms of your functioning of your knee and pain, thereby avoiding surgery. A nice study. I don't know if it um, could represent so many researchers like 16 i think accounted researchers i don't think it really needed that you probably probably needed maybe four or five but maybe all those researchers were the some of the massage therapists as well a nice little study so if you do have knee osteoarthritis at the end of the day try some massage especially 
once a week for eight weeks and see how your symptoms improve. It's good to talk. Let's talk soon.